Hi, welcome to learnhowtogarden.com. In today's episode of The 10 Minute Gardener, I'm going to be talking about our spinach. This is an update on the spinach that we planted earlier in the year. If you're not already subscribed to me at Learn How to Garden, there's a link directly above this film. Click on the link, input your email address, I can let you know every single time I put up a new film, and also I can let you know uh, every time the newsletter comes out, which contains information and articles not available on the normal website. This is the spinach that we planted earlier in the year and we have been cropping this endlessly. Spinach is one of those things, the more you crop it, the more you'll get. And what you need to do is just go down, break off a leaf and you get really, really bad. Because what I tend to do then is just to rip off the bit of spinach I want. And I'm fortunate I feed that to my goats. Um, the thing you have to remember about spinach is when it's young, keep it weed free. And this is in a no dig bed, which tend to have less weeds than other things. And the only weed I can find at the minute is this one. And keep it well watered. It is one of the ones that is notoriously um, variable. No, no, it's not notoriously variable. It's notorious for bolting. It's notorious for going for, to seed if it gets too dry. So if you only have a small amount of water in your water butts, um, make sure that this is one of the things that you keep soaked, even more so than your lettuce. You need to keep this really, really wet. Don't overfeed it. This hasn't had any feed on it whatsoever. This is just growing using the nutrients available in the no-dig bed. There were beans in this bed last year, so there is nitrogen that is actually in this bed. I use the spinach raw. I wilt it uh, and just mix it with some garlic and butter which is really nice fantastic obviously with ricotta uh, layered either in a lasagna or in cannelloni this probably will keep us going now until it bolts i'll be making another sowing of this um in the second week of august which should keep me going right into the autumn which is when the parsnips which are looking a bit worse for wear because we've had three weeks of bone dry weather uh, when the parsnip should be ready. But it's not as hard as people say. Don't just cut off the whole plant of spinach to crop it. Crop it like you would crop kale or lettuce, a leaf at a time, and you can keep it going throughout the season. Worth growing your own. It won't fall apart like the spinach you buy in a bag from the shop. You'll have much more taste, much more texture, grown not flown. Don't fly it from the other side of the world, grow it yourself. Remember that each time you go shopping, grown not flown. If you can grow it yourself, it will taste better. This is perpetual spinach. I think it's the better one to grow for most people. Thanks a lot for watching Learn How to Garden.